having this talk with, uh, with Dean and Lizzie. And what, yes, about using our entire boat. Okay? Now everyone uh, at one point or another, yes? Okay. Okay. Hang on to the end of the end. No problem. Um, there's a reason your bows are a certain length. It's to use the entire length of the bow. Okay? We all know what happens to, in basketball, right? When it gets to the last minute, it gets down to tenths of a second, it starts breaking like crazy. You know, it's going 59, 58, like going nuts like that, right? When we're thinking about our whole notes and we're thinking about bowing, when we get to that fourth beat, you should be thinking of the subdivision at that point. One, two, three, four, and uh, and you're filling out an entire fourth beat, and what you're going to do is you're going to stop together. You're going to do the simplest of simple things. Okay, I want you to pick up your violins. I want you to bow down just a D. You're going to stop together. Ready? From the frog, and down. Two, three, four, and a stop. We didn't quite get that. Do it again. Ready? And down. Two, three, four, and a stop. Good. Go up. Ready? Go. Okay, do it on every string, all right? Do it from the G string. Ready, and two, three, four, and then stop. Two, back, up. Two, three, four, and then stop. D string, ready, go. Two, three, four, and then stop. Back up, ready, go. Stay with me. And then stop, A string, ready, go. Nope. You started without me. Ready, and. matter that we're stopping or if we're turning around and going the other way, you still have to slow down. It's like a pendulum swinging. Everyone know what a pendulum is? Sure. No. Everyone know what a grandfather clock is? Yeah. There's a pendulum swinging back and forth when it gets to the end. It starts slowing down before it turns around. It's the same thing with our bowing. We're slowing down before we turn around. I want you to play every string. We're going to do whole notes. You're going to turn around, okay? There's going to be a stop. We're just going to turn around. Ready? G string. Ready? Play. Precise because I want a good sending group. Ready? G string. Ready? And. Down. Two, and a stop. And. Up. Two, and a stop. D string. Thinking the subdivision the entire time. One eight and a stop. One eight and a stop. Down and a stop. Up and a stop. Ready? Quarter notes. Ready? And. Stop. And stop. We're all over the place. Try it again. From the G string. Ready? And. What I'm not hearing that's bothering me is what I am hearing. Well, it is what I'm not hearing. Where am I going with this? I'm not supposed to hear any on the rests, but I'm hearing 
all kinds of stuff on the rest. Focus on the rest and watch the difference in how it sounds. All right? From the G. Ready? And. Then. Stop. Up. Four quarter notes each string. Ready? Two, ready, and. Okay, I'm largely dissatisfied with what I heard until we got to the E string. The E string sounded good, we sort of got up the rhythm at that point. Do it again, start from the G. Now we know what I'm expecting. Ready? And. What happens to the string when we're bowing that fast? Um, it gets louder. It gets louder, sure does. What else? The string like shakes. Yeah, it's like this. Look like that, doesn't it? It's like vibrating like crazy, right? That's a good thing. Okay, guys, anything that's a quarter note or longer, we should be using our entire bow. You'll notice the difference in the way we're playing. And so Mike was part of that conversation earlier, weren't you? Right? And it sounded a lot better when we did it that way. Okay? So this is what we're striving for. I wanted us to just get through that.